Hi Year 11, we are continuing with Christian attitudes to crime and punishment. Today, your title is Good, Evil and Suffering. So by the end of these lessons, you will be able to explain Christian attitudes and teachings to good, evil and suffering. This links back to what you did in your first unit beliefs when we did the problem of evil. Think now of three examples of good actions and behaviour and three examples of bad actions. If you wish to do the mastered task, consider, is it selfish to do good actions just to please God? Thinking back to your last lesson, which was on crime, mark this C question yourself. So explain two reasons why Christians work to end the causes of crime. The first one, the Bible teaches us to remember those in prison. That is a source of wisdom, it is accurate and it is relevant to the question. Organisations such as Prison Fellowship help to support criminals and reform and change their lives. By talking about the reform, they're saying why they work to end crime and they've referenced Prison Fellowship, so they get a mark for that also. This is important as Jesus himself teaches us to be compassionate and merciful to one another. They haven't developed that further, so they get four out of five in total. The next one I'm sure you will have noticed is missing a source of wisdom and authority. It's a slightly jumbled answer, partly because they're telling me what Christians do rather than why. Street pastors respond to help end crime by working in local schools to support young people. That's not really what they do. This is important because it deters young people from committing crime by building relationships with those vulnerable and offering support. So that they said there why and how they work to end the cause of crime. So I think they'd get two marks for that one. Christians believe that the Bible teaches the difference between right and wrong and ignoring God's will leads to disaster. This person hasn't really answered the question about why Christians work to end causes of crime. Firstly, in the Bible, it says, remember those in prison. Again, accurate source of wisdom. This means it's important not to forget prisoners in jail. Absolutely, but again, that hasn't been developed. Christians should help those in prison, for example, prison fellowship. Again, the person hasn't really said why. In the Bible, it says, those who have done what is good will rise to live and those who have done what is evil will rise to be condemned. Explain what you think this source of wisdom and authority means in your own words. Looking further at the Bible, Christians obviously use what Jesus said and did to guide them. Jesus often told stories with meanings to get his message across. Watch the video about the parable of the sheep and goats and read the information sheet. In the parable, the bad people, the goats, don't help, don't do anything for anybody else and they get sent to hell. Whereas the good people, like the sheep, give food, drink, shelter, clothes, look after the sick and visit those in jail. And the shepherd says, Jesus, that they will go to heaven. This gives Christians guidance on how they should behave to get to heaven. Now show what you know about good, evil and suffering. Go to the Quizlight, Quizlet website, the link is included. Read through and learn the flashcards. When you are confident about that knowledge, 
go to the matching task. Your challenge is to match the definitions and the quotes together as quickly as you can. When you have done that, upload a picture of your time to class charts. Next lesson, you will do a D question on this topic.